in, in a few words, what is Vedanta? Vedanta means that one divine is his whole substance and reality behind this world of multiplicity. Vedanta says that find out unity in the midst of diversity. Try to see the manifestation of the divinity in this world, in human life, in nature. That search for the ground, search for the soul reality behind this world of multiplicity is the great significance of Vedanta, a great lesson that we can learn from Vedanta. Of course, Vedanta has got many other points. It speaks of universal religion. One religion is expressing itself through many channels, many denominations, many faiths. So therefore, Vedanta expects that we should develop that Catholic attitude so that we can respect other faiths where the divine has revealed itself through different religion. Vedanta is very modern in the sense that we should not think that we are living in a material world and our body is full of matter. It has got no spiritual essence behind it. That sort of secular attitude is very dangerous for spiritual growth because it does not give us any chance to think of sanctity or sacredness of life. But when we look that God is our self, God is our indwelling self, God is our hidden essence, a real personality, when we bring the presence of God within as well as without, we are elated with joy and we feel the thrill that God is ever present in everything, in every being. So that gives a holistic attitude towards life and towards the nature. And he was shouting for ecology in all those things. The root cause of ecology is that okay, the divine is manifested in nature. So therefore, instead of exploiting nature, it should try to have a referential attitude towards nature and we should try to exploit nature as little as possible for our actually, life, for our sustenance, but not much. So then we develop a, a referential attitude towards that glorious God who is manifested in and through everything of this world. So the moment you think in this way, you are uplifted, you feel the thrill of the divine joy that I am not a matter, I am not a material encampment. I have got God within me who is energizing me and animating me and helping me to live life. So that God consciousness is one of the great contribution of Vedanta. And Vedanta also encouraged dialogue, as I was telling you. Swami Vivekananda initiated the movement in the Parliament of Religion, 1893, that we should be frog in the well, we should try to study other scriptures or other faiths with reverential attitude so that we can get insight about their, their real merit. So Vedanta accepts all the saints and sages outside the pale of India who have glorified themselves by reaching the summit height of spiritual excellences. So Vedanta does respect the other leaders of thought in spiritual realm and Vedanta wants to worship them. Vedanta feels at home with them. So Vedanta is not a like a, a narrow it's a group where Vedantic knowledge is confined. Vedanta is like a great sky which penetrates every 
thing and every being. So this Catholic outlook, this sense of harmony and peace, this sense of respect are the fruits of Vedanta, which you find in modern days that people are appreciating it.